Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a short video on how to turn off gravity in Cloud3D. So basically there are two ways how to do that, that I know of. And the first way I think probably most of you already know. So you right click in the 3D window and then you find simulation properties and then here you will find the property gravity. And then you put it on zero and what it does is it switches off gravity for the whole 3D space. So no matter what you have, those items will not be affected by gravity at all. So as you can see, I'm simulating now. And then you can see that the fabric is not collapsing at all. Even though it has its physical properties, it has its density. Um, yeah, you can see you can kind of mold the fabric in the air. And I do recommend to pin your items down because they tend to float quite a lot. And if you want to create some kind of abstract shapes that you want to hold maybe in a simulation further on. Um, I do recommend you to use pins or tacks as well so you can keep the shapes of your creations. So this method is used quite a lot when creating bags or shoes because uh, when creating these things you really want the fabric to be very stiff and even if you have the physical properties that creates the stiffest fabric, still the gravity can affect it quite a lot. So that's why um, when you switch off the gravity, you can avoid like some unnecessary wrinkles um, happening. But um, even though you switch it off, it, you know, it is still floating around. So um, yeah, you need to be mindful of that as well. And then the second method is to switch off gravity for certain fabrics. So how to do that? Very easy, you go to your fabric and then you scroll down to physical properties and you will find this property called density. So that's basically the weight of the fabric. And um, you need to open uh, this property like this because if you just put zero here, uh, which would mean the fabric has no weight, uh, you, can still, you can see that there's still some weight left. So you have to put it on zero here as well. And what it does, it removes any kind of weight of your fabric. So when you simulate, even with the gravity on, you can see that nothing is really happening. So you can also mold the fabric and create all kinds of different creative shapes. And um, you can use this method as well um, for creating bags and shoes and things like that. But the biggest advantage of this method is that um, you can keep the gravity on for your 3D space. So you can simulate other items with no issue and only switch off um, gravity for the items that you want. And then one very useful application that I have found is for creating big voluminous items. For example, here I wanted to visualize very voluminous skirt. For the underskirt, as you can see, I put density on zero. Uh, when I did that, the underskirt still is collapsing under the weight of um, the top skirt, which has weight. However, it is really trying to, you know, become flat. So that's why it creates a lot of good volume. And um, not only, for example, underskirt, I have used it also to create voluminous coats um, and things like that. So that's um, very useful, I think, in this kind of case. But of course, if you are using fabrics that are tested for physical property, this is not the method that you should be using because um, with this method, you're not really taking into consideration the correct physical properties, right? Um, but if you are visualizing things and you want to visualize a lot of volume um, or create some fun accessories, uh, then I think this method is uh, very nice. And you don't have to switch off the overall gravity of your 3D space, which I think is advantage, especially also when you do animations. Okay, so that's basically it for the video. Um, I hope you find these tips useful. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.